Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now today, there's been some more big news out of Ports or Football Club. Didn't expect to make a video yesterday or today. Turned out the back-to-back -back videos, daily videos, might be returning. Uh, but the retained list has been announced by the club. We'll get on to who's been released, who's been in kept and who is under contract as well as who's still in negotiations. But, you know, we'll hear from Dad as well. We'll hear my thoughts on it. We'll hear the players that are also leaving, the players that are staying. Without further ado though, let's get into it. Now of course there's a couple of players in this that I think I'm happy are leaving. A couple that I'm going to miss. A couple that are kind of meh, they've left okay, I didn't really they didn't play anyway. Uh, there's some that have, have been offered new contracts or in negotiations that, that are good to see. Uh, the players that are playing, hopefully we sell some of them get some uh, good players in. But I think some of the Deadwood has been released now. A lot of rebuilding is going on at the club. Now I guess the first thing we should do is look at who has been released first of all. The players leaving the club then, there's six of them from the first team. Andy Cannon, Charlie Daniels, Geordie Hawula, Bryn Morris, Taylor Seymour and Duncan Turnbull. Now we'll start with the first one there, Andy Cannon. Andy, he's played for Ports for two and a half years now. He's been a great servant to the club and we're going to play the video now that Pompey released. Again, thank you to Andy, a player that I will miss, but I think it is a good decision. As much as that it will hurt the fans, he's not a championship player. On his day, he's good, but when his day comes, is not very often. He's a player that I think, a player like him is what we need with that kind of work ethic, but we need a player that's a bit more technically better in midfield as well. I think, honestly, I do think maybe we could have kept him and just played him off the bench, but once again... I think he's better off going somewhere else. But I will say now, apparently it's not to do with the club. Andy is feeling a bit homesick. Would like to go back to Greater Manchester, I believe is where he's from. So it's looking likely that a club like Bolton, Rochdale, again, he could go back there. One of the clubs kind of like that could come in and steal him. And you know what? Good luck to Andy in his future adventure. I hope to see you at the park next season. Well, I say that, he's probably not going to watch this. But I hope to see him at Fratton Park next season away with another team. Now the second one, Charlie Daniels. Only going to say... Good riddance. Class on than everyone said when he came in, including myself. He's been shocking. <laughs> he's looked like he's been on the beach. He's too old. I'm glad he is gone. Jordi Hawula then. Another player. I'm sad to see him go, but again, he didn't show signs of being class. He showed glimpses of maybe a bit of quality, but once again, not consistent enough. He didn't get the goals when he did play. He seemed to be offside a lot. I think a, a team such as like Shrewsbury or, or even a Bolton coming up, but then Bolton have got good attack. But a team like Shrewsbury maybe could do with a player like Hawula. He'll get you goals if you give him support, but in Pompey's team, I don't think he'd fit in. And you know, again, good luck to Jordi Hawula in the future. The next three then we'll do all together. Bryn Morris, Taylor Seymour, Duncan Turnbull. Do I have to say more than just Bryn Morris? Thank God he's gone off our books. Taylor Seymour, Duncan Turnbull, two goalkeepers are both left. Didn't ever play really for Pompey. I think they both had one appearance something. Uh, Duncan only joined us last summer, but you know, he's now gone. Taylor Seymour, a young keeper. Good luck to you in the future of your career, Taylor. And Bryn Morris, good riddance again, but still good luck, mate. Uh, offered a new contract then has Alfie Stanley. Alfie Stanley has been. Uh, hopefully he signs that. Uh, an option by the club that has been taken up to sign Haji Monoga on for another one or two years. Not, I think it is a year. Uh, so that'll mean Haji will stay at the club. And then still in negotiations for their new deals are Ben Close, Craig McGilvray, Tom Naylor, Jack Watmore and Ryan Williams. Now I'm hoping all five of those sign, but the key ones there are Close, McGilvray and Watmore in my opinion. Watmore, yeah I think he is. He, maybe not a starter next season, it'll be controversial. But I think he's, if he wasn't from Pompey, I don't think he'd be rated as highly as he is. Uh, Ryan Williams, great workhorse, uh, but once again end product lacking. We'd be glad to see him stay, but equally wouldn't be too 
disheartened to see him leave. Tom Naylor again, good kind of ethic most of the time, of course. The, the uh, last week's actions weren't good enough. Captain, no, he's not a very good leader. He had some good moments, but again, he's been average uh, if you look at the whole season overall. Craig McGilvray then, yes, best keeper in League One. All I'm going to say. Ben Close, one of our own good central midfielder. But that is where the retained list ends. And I think now I've read through all of that, let's hear from Dad. Well, my reaction to uh, Pompey's retained list and players they're letting go that's been announced earlier on today, um, not really surprised that Charlie Daniels is leaving. He only had a six-month contract. Tawila was in a short-term contract. Turnbull, short-term contract. Seymour doesn't even get in the team, so it's not a shock. Um, Cannon's a bit of a surprise. Always thought he was decent when he um, when he played. Um, but apparently he's, he's a bit homesick, wants to go back up north. Um, whether we even try to offer him a contract or not, I, I can't speculate on that one. Obviously, they're in negotiations with Watmore, McGilvery and Close um, and Naylor. Um, we'll see about that. Um, definitely need to keep McGilvery. Uh, close is decent as well. What more? They're not some of the players I would let go anyway. Um, I wouldn't see any justification for them asking for pay rises and things like that, especially after we didn't go up. Um, so we'll have to see in regards to that whether the club move forward with that. Um, obviously, there's some players that are still under contract that I would certainly like to get rid of, i.e. John Marquis. Um, Harrison, I'd get rid of him as well. But I wouldn't keep him. I don't think he's good enough for this football club. Um, if an offer comes in for Curtis, three, four million, I'd take it all day long. I think he's probably, even though I think he's decent still, I wouldn't keep him either. I'd take the money and try and rebuild a new team. But um, moving forward, we'll have to see what happens with the players that, um, in, that they're in negotiations with and go from there. But, um, a lot of rebuilding is still needed and we'll have to see what happens in regards to new signings moving forward. Anyway, keep the faith. Out the blues. Now, thank you to Dad again for sending his opinions over. He didn't actually know this retained list until I had to send him it. Uh, but I think he's got some opinions that may be controversial, may be accepted. But do let me know, Pompey fans, down below how you're feeling after that retained list was announced. I think most Pompey fans will be fairly happy. Cannon leaving is a big miss, but, you know, he, he wanted to go home. It, you can't really say much about that. In negotiations are the other players, the big ones. They haven't left. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the coming weeks for them. But thank you for watching this video. Can we get 10 likes? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Can we hit 850 by the end of June? And most importantly, play out Pompey.